dear rector, dear president of the college, dear mayor, professors, directors of studies, alumni, friends of the college, and last but not least, definitely not least, dear students. Let me first start by saying how happy I am to be here with you today in this very important day, your day. First, I would like to say that each one and every one of you deserves congratulations, as you have already heard a few times, but I think it's never enough for making it through a tough and extremely demanding year, both academically and socially. That is provided, of course, that each and every one of you made it through the simulation games alive. I cannot help but think of this speech as a moment, a symbolic moment, when the rector passes on the torch from the college to the alumni association. Just like the torch with the Olympic flame represents the, con the continuity across generations between ancient and modern, this is exactly the moment you take the first jump from the family of students and professors and staff of the college to the broader college family that all of our alumni across generations and campuses form part of. Now, I'm not using the Olympic flame analogy by chance. Well, as the rector knows, I always try to squeeze in some ancient Greek elements in my speeches. <laughs> but I'm also using this because flames and fire are symbols of many things, including light and knowledge. I could not find a better analogy to describe your drive, passion, and dedication than fire. As Margaret Thatcher said, who also addressed the college in 1988, Disciplining yourself to do what you know is right and important, although difficult, is the high road to pride, self-esteem, and personal satisfaction. This year, you did not hesitate to drive on that high road. The list of accomplishments is endless, has been mentioned a few times. You competed in the European Law Moot Court. You participated to model United Nations and lobby competitions, and it goes on and on. But of course, among your accomplishments, it has to definitely be mentioned that some of you managed to not miss one single bar night. Kudos for that. On a more serious note, I could not not mention how proud you made us by raising your voice loudly when needed. When the world turned into a darker place in February, you did not stand still. You organized the protest in Bruges against the war and other capitals, including Brussels. You collected money selling coffees during conferences and outside the canteen. You raised funds during bar nights for Ukrainian organizations, and these are only a few examples. It has been mentioned already several times, but this is one of the things that cannot be mentioned enough. Our thoughts are with the Ukrainian people and with our Ukrainian alumni and students. The college has put a lot of effort this year to stand by the students. And as we proved in the aftermath of the invasion, the community stands ready to support as much as we can through our communication channels. And the Alumni Association is ready to be there when needed to support initiatives of our alumni and students. I firmly believe that being a graduate of the College of Europe does not only come with the amazing memories and the benefits from your diploma, but also with responsibilities, especially at this moment in time. Let us not forget, however, that the College of Europe was founded at a time when the entire world was emerging through some of the darkest times in history. And I'm never tired of repeating that the college itself does represent hope. We did it in the past, and we will do it again. In his keynote speech at the opening ceremony, the Belgian Prime Minister rightly said, gone are the days of the smoky backrooms. It will no longer be the visionary leaders that drive Europe forward. It will be visionary European citizens that demand more from European politics, pushing their leaders forward. Today, it is up to all of us. Today, is up to each one of you. Better times require hard work, passion, and devotion. 
all of which are integral elements of the DNA of every single college alum and student. Luckily, the college community of more than 16,000 alumni and the college, the college Alumni Association will be there for you in these efforts. Now, to come back to today's event, you think you, you would be less stressed or you would have less feelings when you come after several years to this closing ceremony, but that's not actually the case. <laughs> Trust me, I'm equally emotional as when I graduated. I remember very well the bittersweet feelings of my own ceremony. Sweet because of obviously all the beautiful memories, but bitter because, well, saying goodbye is never easy. Of course, little did I know back then that the experience does not end in the closing ceremony. Far from that, as the director also mentioned before. You may be leaving the college, but the college will not be leaving you. It is not meant as a threat. <laughs> always sounds somehow threatening when I say it, but no, it's not a threat, it's a promise. Trust me when I say that the college will continue existing in the values that you are taking with you, the friendships, the skills, and the knowledge that you built. You will continue having a lot of discussions about your residencies. And of course, at this point, I could not not mention that Garmart is the best residence. <laughs> Go, Garmarkt. Uh, you will still debate about which one was the best national week of your year, and funny stories that took place after an intense bar night will still make you laugh after 10, 15, 20 years. Also be aware there will be lots of college couple weddings and college babies. So if you found your college sweetheart, there is hope. Uh, in this uh, sorry, missed my page. Yeah. Uh, I am. And if you're worried you might not stay informed about the latest developments in the college community, fear not. The college mailing lists with thousands of SFS emails for washing machines and internship vacancies will always be there to keep the spirit alive. Now, this also gives me the opportunity to share that uh, apart from the closing ceremony, for which I really thank the college for uh, inviting me to pre represent the Alumni Association today, this weekend me and my colleagues are in Bruges uh, to welcome back alumni from the Stevin, Alexis de Tocqueville and Mozart promotions. Now, note that those are alumni who graduated 20, 25 and 30 years ago, respectively, and they are all flying to Belgium, coming to Bruges to reunite, to attend the anniversary dinner that the Alumni Association has organized for them. A living proof that the college spirit is not just a rumor, it remains very strong and unaltered across the years. And just like the Olympic flame always comes back and shines twice as bright in the ancient Olympia of Greece, our college flame will always find its way back to our very own Olympias, Bruges and Natalin. To slowly wrap up, as we are staying optimistic and uh, hope that the end of the global pandemic has come, we very much hope that we will be able to welcome you to Brussels and other cities through our regional groups in our traditional interpromotional welcome event and remain in touch through the various activities of the Alumni Association, so stay tuned. And here I also take the opportunity to say a huge thank you to all volunteers, including my colleagues at the board of the Alumni Association, that contribute every single day to the, activi to the activities of the association. And I would also, of course, encourage all of you to become members, and why not volunteer? And also a huge thank you to my role model, as she knows, but she always tells me to not say much. <laughs> uh, Rector Magherini um, and the staff of the college for their drive and motivation to strengthen the community and to help us come closer to the students every single year. With that, my favorite moment has arrived. We should have a bell at some point, I think, here. <laughs> yeah, next year. <laughs> Uh, dear students of the Elian Vogel Polsky promotion, I know you're still waiting for your final results, but I would like to again congratulate you for all your hard work this year 
and all your accomplishments. And to warmly welcome you to our College of Europe alumni community. Thank you very much.